Welcome to the Patriot Training YouTube channel. My name is Clay Howell. I'm the head firearms instructor at Patriot Training. I also own the joint too. Today's topic, you're doing it wrong. Sometimes when you happen across a picture on social media of somebody shooting or doing something that has to do with firearms, or maybe you see an ad for gun classes or for a range or something like that, some Yahoo thinks that the best, most effective use of their time is to stop, take a moment, and comment furiously, you're doing it wrong. I'm reminded of a recent ad where there was a picture of somebody holding a handgun at the high ready. And somebody comments, you're doing it wrong. You'll blow your face off. Okay. Another time, there was a video of somebody moving with a rifle at the high ready. And a person comments, You're doing it wrong! You need to point the muzzle down! Every major firearm school in the United States teaches a muzzle up. You know, you've got to ask yourself, why would someone take a moment out of their day to stop and make a comment like that on the picture or on the ad? Whatever their reason, you can be sure, it's not to help anybody, that's for certain. I'm reminded when I ask this question of some words from John Hearn, noted firearms instructor. Hearn says if you're going to critique someone, it takes something other than he's wrong for your critique to matter. The detail of your critique is directly proportional to the respect that I give it. Powerful words. So the next question you might ask is, who does this? What kind of person would do this? And I found two major types. Uh, the first major type is one of those people, we all know them, and they are just unhappy with life. Um, they feel life dealt them a bad hand. They can't get ahead. They are just perpetually unhappy no matter the circumstances. And it's possible, not always, but it's entirely possible. I see plenty of these perpetually unhappy people that are former military or former law enforcement. And because of that military or law enforcement tenure, they believe that they have some level of expertise with firearms. And nothing could be further from the truth. They have met a minimum level of proficiency, not a maximum. But regardless of whether this unhappy person is former military, former law enforcement, regular civilian, what have you, regardless, their purpose for commenting like that is usually because they want everyone to be equally unhappy as they are. A second kind of person that I've seen make comments like this are people who are jealous. And the people who are jealous often fall into one of two categories. You have the jealous person who cannot afford the class. 
And with these people, some of them are going through a tough time. Hey, I've been there. I've done that. I've gotten the t-shirt. I've bounced that check. I've wondered where the money was going to come from to pay the light bill. Hey, my hat's off to you, man. I do feel for you. I would also say that anybody over the age of 12 has done some stupid stuff with some money or found themselves in a tight spot, so I think we can all understand to a certain extent. Some of them that cannot afford it have perpetual money issues. And I'm not going to say much more there. Read into that what you will. If they're always broke, eh, it might be a reason. I know this, regardless of the reason I was broke, I would not be posting that on social media. Had somebody once um, on a $125 class. Too pricey for me! As of the time of this recording in the state of Tennessee, the average of the top 20 or so firearms training academies is over $210 per day. So, yeah. Of the people who are jealous, there's another type. And this is the person that believes that they should be the teacher. And they believe they have a certain level of expertise. I'm here to tell you that's probably not the case. And so they're jealous because they're not the one doing the teaching. Now granted, I've seen one Yahoo out of one school that I won't name right here, and he gets on other people's training videos and ads and laughs at them and says, oh, you need to learn the real way with me. I'd never train at a place that went and did that sort of baloney publicly. That's insane. But the majority of the people that are jealous, they, they are jealous because they feel they should be teaching and they aren't, and they believe they have a certain level of expertise and they probably don't. And I'll give you this. If you're one of those people, if you're watching this and this statement's burning you up, take a class or two with me. Take my instructor class. I will give you on a platter my lesson plans, the syllabus to the classes. I'll show you how to market it. Because at the end of the day, what I want is I want more people to be properly trained. And if you have a gift or a knack or a desire to do that, I'm going to show you how, my friends. I'm going to show you how. God has been good, and I have mentored many fellow instructors in many different areas. Not just shooting, but marketing and other things, too. And I have been mentored by many. But that kind of leads into my next major point. We, we asked who would do this. We asked why. But let's turn that around. Who would not do this? Well, I will tell you who would not do this is an expert. I don't see major school owners getting online and telling other outfits that they're doing something wrong. You will only ever be criticized by someone who is doing less than you. Remember that. So therefore, by default, if somebody comes on and says, you're doing it wrong, you can rest assured that this person is not an expert. A little bit more food for thought. Something to ponder, if you will. 
You see a picture, you think somebody is doing something wrong, but do you know all of the circumstances that are going on in that picture? And the answer to that is clearly and obviously no. I'm reminded of a time when there was a picture of a person who was kneeling and they were leaning to one side. And as you can see, it looks like they are not very stable. And this Yahoo decided that it was his goal in life to point out that this was a very unstable position and he was doing it wrong. But the fact of the matter is, he couldn't see that this person was shooting around a barricade, around a position of cover. And let me tell you real, real quick, good stability is necessary for accurate shooting, yes. And if you're in a gunfight, you need to utilize as much cover as possible. And that means you might have to sacrifice position for a little bit more cover because it's most important to not get shot. Now, some people will get on here and say, well, you're just whining. Why are you exempt? I'm not exempt. Nobody is. I see this on not just my pictures, not just my ads. I see them all over. And I see them on more than one kind of media. It's not just gun classes. I see this on auto mechanic videos, um, home improvement videos. You name it, somebody's going to get on there and tell them they're doing it wrong. That's for darn sure. So this is a societal problem, not just a solo problem. And I would also say that going back to pictures and being able to tell everything from a picture, um, if you think that pictures tell the whole story, you, my friend, have never been on a dating app. Everybody I've talked to that's ever used a dating app says they have run across not one, but most people that they find will have pictures that are somewhat misleading. Maybe the picture was taken from a flattering angle or with the right lighting, or maybe it was that picture was taken 50 pounds ago. Maybe that picture was taken 20 years ago, etc., 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 etc. Unless and until you know all of the facts, you generally you, you probably ought not comment on a picture. And yes, there are a handful, just a very few obvious exceptions. But um, yeah. Well, that's it for this topic, my friends. I would like to remind you that you do not have to be a patriot to train, but you do have to train if you want to consider yourself to be a real patriot. Take care.